Hello everyone, and a warm welcome back to all the participants. Participants, you are aware that we are completely focusing ourselves on building the pipelines, DevOps pipelines. And as part of the pipelines, we are building the CICD pipelines, the continuous integration and continuous deployment. As part of the CICD pipelines that we are building, we are using various tools and we are... Hello. Yeah. I'm unable to see your screen, Kumar. How about the other people? Is that the same issue? No, Kumar. But sometimes if you are viewing in a phone, uh, oh, the screen actually goes blank. So not sure what device you are using. Mm -hmm. No, is the screen overall visible to everyone? Yes, it's, it's visible. Visible to me. Okay, fine. So if you are facing issues, best suggestion, drop from the link, join back the link, you it will get resolved. Okay, so participants, where are we right now? We are at a stage where we have our code hosted in GitHub. We have our Jenkins running on AWS EC2 instance. Jenkins is capable of pulling the code and building the code with the tool, build a tool Maven, generating the artifact. We are able to go ahead and do a file upload for the artifact into S3. And we have now been successful in using Terraform to go ahead and provision our instances. The problem that we are very much not able to solve or the challenges that we are facing is that how come instances, if they are provisioned by Terraform, can be bundled with your app? Like, if you have noticed yesterday code, it was very challenging job. The challenging job was when Terraform was used, go ahead and provision a couple of instances in my account, one and two. It provisioned instances with the size t2.micro. The problem is in those instances, how would you go ahead and install Tomcat? How would you go ahead and install the application? dot war package how you would you bundle it if it was two instances somehow i would have managed it one and two instance but if it more than two instances as the number goes higher and higher two to four to six to eight to twenty some number which is beyond the capability of an individual so i can't go ahead and trust the way of manual like connecting to that instance, like I've done yesterday. See, I've connected to that instance, then into that instance, I've installed packages, then Tomcat, then the download from S3 bucket. That's not going to be a pretty straightforward solution. That's not recommended also. So for that participants, what we were looking for, we were looking for a solution. The solution was to adapt to Packer. What is the idea behind the packer? Packer can give us what we need. What packer can do? Packer can go ahead and bundle the operating system. We need open to. Packer can bundle Apache Tomcat, which we need. S3 bucket war package. All of it can bundle into a single image. Inside a single image, it can bundle everything. That is the capability of Packer. That's why it is given name called Packer. Pack and make it a word. So we have to let Packer to tell Packer, go ahead and give me a bundle image which has everything that I need to run my application. Very, very important. Packer, do give me a bundle which has everything for the, in order to run my application. In order to run my application, what I need? The application itself, the bundled application, the Tomcat, the OS, that's the artifact. This artifact is just going to be passed to Terraform. Terraform completely will go ahead and start building this artifact. So it's time for us to go ahead and hit Packer people. 
what exactly Packer can do. I'll go ahead and say Packer. And Packer does tell you what to do in the form of a template. So right now we are in the tutorial segment where to get started. To get started with AWS now, I want to get started with AWS. So it says to get started with AWS, like HashiCorp, Packer automates the creation of any type of machine image, including AWS AMIs. That is what exactly I'm looking for. Here you will build an Ubuntu machine image on this tutorial. So you are required to have the Packer installed. We have successfully installed Packer on our machine, which involves Jenkins and build an image. Here the code. So it will ask you to create a folder, navigate into that folder, give the Packer references and give the code for it the piece of code and after that we can go ahead and understand the code i'll explain about the code but i'm just going to show you the quick reference it is asking us to go with the access key id and secret key id which we have already passed which we have already passed the access key and secret key id we have already passed and then we go ahead and start building the image Participants, above than this, I have another block, which is called provisioning. If you start a little over provisioning, it will tell you what you want to do inside that provisioning. So inside that provisioning block, I want to install something. What is that installation? I want to install Tomcat. I want to download from S3 bucket. All these installations that you want to provision, I will go ahead and write in the form of code. So participants, based upon this, I have written the Packer template, ready-made template, one time you have to write. And I've written a very simple template, not that complex. So let me go ahead and show you participants what is that template is all about. Let me first get that template from my repo. This is my Packer template. And I'm going to show you participants what is this packet template. Very, very simple template. Same kind of logic I've used here. Build an image. Get the packer code. So I have written the packer code here, which is a JSON file. Same thing. So what is the idea behind this? Or how to understand this? So packer starts with two blocks. Block one is all about provisioning. Oh, sorry about builder, what you want to build, and provisioners, what you want to provision inside your image. I want to build an image using AWS on an instance size T2.micro, region US East 2 AMI I want to use Ubuntu. This is an Ubuntu AMI. It's the same exact AMI that we have used yesterday, the same AMI. The name of that AMI, I'm going to name it as Packer. The login that I would do is SSH username, type of it. And I want to run a shell script. What is the purpose of the shell script? The next or in the next file, that is the next file that I'm trying to run a shell script. I've written everything that I want to do. Instead of doing manual, I've written a code here. What is that code? I wanted to install Tomcat 9. That simple it is. Go into the Tomcat, download the package from S3 bucket and start the Tomcat. That simple it is people to have yesterday entire hour we have spent in connecting to the Terraform instance, installing packages in it, installing Tomcat in it, downloading the S3 bucket, downloading the packages. Three lines I have done it. Within three lines I have done it. I downloaded the Tomcat. I have gone to the Tomcat web apps folder. Now we'll download from the S3 bucket package and start the Tomcat. That is what exactly I will do inside an image build. Are we, are we good everyone? So what is the logic or where exactly I did get this code from? This is the code. It's available here. Source. I want to build AWS image 
type of the image, name of the AMI, type of the image, which region, what is the source AMI, what is the build that you want to do, what provisioning you want to do. He was asking me about the provisioning. I said, I want to just provision a very simple code. The code should go ahead and connect to my instance, install Tomcat in it. After the installation of Tomcat, it should go ahead and install. Uh, after the installation of Tomcat, it should go ahead and use my war package available on S3, download it and start it. Everyone, are we now clear? Participants, are we now clear? Participants, are we good? Yes, come on. Yes. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and start using this Packer template using Jenkins. I want Jenkins to use this template. I will go ahead and make it public. I generally don't make public, but since it's a practice that we have to do, we have to implement this project and making this code public. Now the code is public. That means everybody can see my code. Don't do this in real time. You'll get fired. Now let's start implementing things, people. Let me hit my, my EC2. My instance is not running. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the instance. So the instance is running. It's time for me to go ahead and open my Jenkins. So I made an entry into my Jenkins. Okay, cool. So now I have various jobs. What is the purpose of the job one? The purpose of the job one is to start the process of the entire CI CD. How it does start? Take the developer code, build the developer code, maven package and clean, and gets the artifact. The var package, cool. After the var package is created, storage, we are storing into S3 bucket, cool. Right after the S3 bucket, what we wanted, we wanted to go ahead and build using Terraform, but the problem we will end up in, installation of the Apache packages, Tomcat into that instances. In order to avoid it, we will now start building Packer. So we will use Packer and we will go ahead and tell Packer, hey Packer, my code is written in github.com. Pull that code, build an image for me. After the build image is given to us, we will go ahead and deploy it. So participant, let me go ahead and demonstrate to you. So now it's my job number three that I will go ahead and start. So I'll go ahead and start my job number three, which is build image, build AMI using Packer for project beta, the freestyle job. I'm building AMIs, images. So this Jenkins job, very simple. Build images or build AWS AMIs bundled. with 
Ubuntu as the OS. What else more? Tomcat and got my app got war packages from S3. Cool. So now it's time for us to get started and we are having the source code here. So let's go ahead and pick the source code, the git source code where the Packer code is written. The Packer code is written in my Azure cloud, uh, sorry, uh, Packer code is written in my Azure cloud Packer templates. So I'll go ahead and pick that Packer code Reference for Jenkins, Jenkins, here the Packer code reference. Credentials not required, it's purely a public repo. Branch is master, yes. How do you want this build to get started? This is very interesting. So, my Packer is building images. What kind of images? Images that are bundled with my app. That means, let my app be available into S3 bucket then I will go ahead and download. That means I want to go ahead and start only in that case when build is done from job one, artifact is uploaded into S3. Only then I will go ahead and do it. So I will go ahead and start when my job two gets completed. Var upload, what does var upload do? Package upload. It will upload var package into S3. After S3 job completion, then only I will start my build process of Packer. Cool. Next, after that, I would like to go ahead and run the Packer command. Packer command is very, very simple. Only one simple command participants. Packer build, that's all. Packer build, what do you want to build? You need to go ahead and give the build reference file. What is the file here? This is the file that we need to build. Build ami.json is the name of the file. This is what you have to do. That's all. Build json.file. That's it, participant. With this packer will fire up. It will start building your project. So participants, now it's time for me to go ahead and check whether S3 is going to be Sure, like we have to go ahead and tell Packer code also. I have to even edit a little bit of Packer code. My Packer code. Where is my Packer code? Yeah, it is going to go ahead and hit this bucket. So I have to be sure which bucket it will go ahead and hit. Or let me go ahead and use this URL where the file will be downloaded from this bucket. So what I'm going to make participants, this bucket, this bucket, I'm going to go ahead and make I'll grant access for everyone to read and write. Yes. Yeah, now bucket, I made it publicly accessible. If you want, you can make it private, but for the purpose of little easy or make, to make it little easy, I have just made it as a public bucket because the download can be faster. Otherwise you have to go ahead and use, uh, you know, the version at this moment, it's not required. I just made, made it public so the data can be downloaded. And also, I'll go ahead and make a little change here because I've used a previous bucket. Now I'll change the bucket reference. What I meant, I'll show you the reference. I have used a previously different bucket. I'm just going to go ahead and say that, hey, the previous bucket is not required. Let's go ahead and use the new bucket. File, uh, where is the bucket and the folder? Yeah, here is the bucket. Yeah. So this is a JSON file. No changes in the JSON file. 
changes only here. This bucket is a previously used bucket. I'm just changing this bucket with my current. That's all. Nothing more than that. So terminal, go to the new terminal. Git, I have made some changes. Can you go ahead and do an accommodation for the new bucket? Push these changes upwards origin branches master done so participants from this side from my side i'm able to go ahead and commit all the changes into the kit it's done here the changes should be visible new bucket reference json file cool you have seized json file done next what is that we have we have let me just go ahead and give you once again the point as participants. So I have to take two roles. First role is as a developer. The first role I have to take is a developer and make the changes into my development code, application code, where the application is going to sit into the github.com. And as part of the changes, I go ahead and add those changes, commit those changes, and push those changes. Let me show you one more time. So let me go ahead and show you the role of a developer who is application developer. Application developer, add a folder. Beta is the name of the application folder that I've created. Let me double confirm it. CD to beta, clear the screen, git. Can you switch the branch to develop? Right? After this, I would like to go and make a little change into the code to verify whether these changes are visible for you. Welcome to AWS and DevOps. CI CD with GitHub as our version control. Plus we are using Maven for our build, Java for our project development, and we are using uh, Jenkins for our continuous integration. And we are using uh, S3 bucket for artifact storage. We are using Packer for our image build. We are using Terraform for our image instances provisioning, and we are also using Tomcat for our application run. See how many tools we have been using. So let me go ahead and edit these changes, Git add these changes, Git commit the changes, new line entry, It push these changes, hyphen new origin, the branches master. Done. So participants, before I go ahead and start, what is the purpose of GitHub here in our project? Why we are using GitHub? Source, code. Con source code. Source code, yeah. Why we are using Maven? Build the, build the source code. Correct. Why we are using Java? Supporting file write the actual source code the the language of the yes. why we are using jenkins is integration continuous integration very good why we are using s3 to store the artifact why we are using packer uh, images build ami build yes why we are using terraform provisioning uh, instances, instances yeah. provisioning or resource provisioning. Why we are using Tomcat? Uh, to check our uh, artifact. It's working. Correct. To run our build artifact. Whatever the var package or applications, they will run inside this Tomcat server. So now you are able to relate with these tools participants. Okay. So step one, I have successfully written my source code into the github.com. You guys can see after my github.com. 
but github.com has made it github.com is named under the folder called beta beta branch we are using as develop the latest code is available here the latest code is available here why did i did i not we are pushing in master i did pushed in master okay let me double check in master why did i push this in master it push can you go ahead okay let me just change couple of lines why did i push in master guys it add new line entry it push not to master to branch for develop i didn't notice it now i did notice yes so we have now the latest code entry done into commit name web app index.jsp now yes source code is done so code is ready from the developer side so developer has done his job his job is done are we good people are we are we cool with the developer code developer has made changes committed added them committed them pushed them into the github repo are we good participants participants are we good can we proceed now to the next role which is the devops engineering the role of devops engineer now the role of devops engineer starts releasing it now i have to release this what should i do for releasing i have to trigger my jenkins asking jenkins can you trigger this entire pipeline by pulling the latest developer code from github.com which is beta branches develop build it test it clean it package it give me an artifact to give you the artifact after the artifact is completed we will start the next job with jenkins asking jenkins since the new artifact is ready can you go ahead and take the aws cli command from me and upload this artifact into s3 bucket it will go ahead and do the job assuming if it has successfully uploaded the job what is the next step that we are expecting now we are expecting packer no sorry we are expecting jenkins to initiate packer build image so we will let jenkins asking hey jenkins now it's time for you to knock the door of packer and make packer to build an image for us so packer is expected to use os ubuntu os packer is expected to take apache tomcat packer is expected to go ahead and download it from s3 so participants if you want the reference for the code i'm going to show you the reference for the code here so if you go ahead and look at the code look at the code the code is talking everything that you need if you look at my code there is the code so participants the code i've written is making everything right this line is open to os oh, sorry instead tomcat tomcat reference i have written here line number 9 line number 8 package download this is from s3 i have to download the line for the s3 download reference is at line number 10 download the package so two lines actually so you might ask me kumar then where did you mention uh open to i am showing you where did i mention open to let me go ahead and here i mentioned open to in the json file see this is open to ami id this is open ami id that open to am if you are not sure see the name open to so participants now you are able to relate how code is how packer code is making things possible for us packer is making things possible for us in this way 
So my code in the packer is also ready. It's time for us to go ahead and start the process, people. So let's go ahead and ask Jenkins. Jenkins, if you are ready, could you go ahead and trigger the pipeline? So participants, overall expectation from this pipeline is this. Build, and I'm expecting a package. War to upload the package into S3. Then AMI to be built. It might take up to five to six minutes to build an AMI from the packer. So I'm awaiting by end of this packer build an AMI ID into my account. This is what is my expectation. So let's fire this build as a DevOps engineer. One, two, three, start. So now participants, the build did start, right? Console output to see what is happening. Yeah, pick the latest code, build the code, success. Artifact is expected to be generated. Artifact is generated. I think artifact is already uploaded into S3 bucket. Console output. Yeah, it is already uploaded into S3 bucket. Build, now see, Packer build has already started. Let's go ahead and see Packer build, what is happening inside the Packer. So participants, it will take time. It's not that it will go ahead and build just like that. It will take time. So please wait for that. Participants, I think it failed. Here I can see it resolving the bucket and it went to the bucket field. Okay. Why? Because it was trying to go ahead and get the access from this file, but it failed. Yeah. That is the reason it is not able to get the file download. Yes, this is the reason access is denied. So participant, let me address this solution in this way. Say, understand what I have to do. Now I'm trying to download the file. The file is not downloadable, publicly accessible. No, I'm not able to access it. Why? Because the file that has to be downloaded is not running. So participants, let's go to the bucket level and ask, hey bucket, I'm trying to go ahead and uh, you know access the file from the bucket, but I'm not able to. So participants, we can go ahead and look at writing a policy. The policy should help me to download it. The permissions of the bucket should help me to download my images or objects. So participants, what we can do is we can go ahead and click and edit and expect a policy. So policy makes bucket to make it public. So you can use some examples or you can use some generators, policy generators. And under the policy generator, what kind of policy? S3 related policy. What do you want to allow? I want to allow for now, let's make it star. It means everybody should be able to download it. S3, what actions at this moment? All actions. 
and what is a resource resource means which bucket that you want to allow yes this is my bucket bucket arn is already mentioned so you can pick this bucket okay and put a star participants this was the reason the star was the reason for our entire failure one star remember this guy was the reason and then add a statement it will give you the code for this you don't need to even remember this code come on see and put this into your bucket participants this guy has been the reason for our failure so we have made it possible now now the bucket is public and the objects can also be downloaded so now participants once again the process we have to go back to the process and uh, the ami is okay the ami is okay but in that ami you will not find this artifact because we are not able to download the artifact participants see there of a uh, hacker is expecting that it has gone ahead and built that image but what is the purpose of this image what should i do with this image inside that image there is no application at all maybe tomcat is available maybe the tomcat is available yeah i can see tomcat got installed but application it failed it did not download that application this image is of no use to me why because there was a block see the blockage was like this copy this url and do check this if i go ahead and show you participants what is happening the file was not getting downloaded before now the file will get down why because we have given the permissions see now the file is getting down participants if you guys want to check you can go ahead and check now this file click this link the file will get downloaded oh oops this is the file click that link it will get downloaded the second link click that the file will get downloaded for you initially it was not now it is working so now participants you have been able to see ami is getting created but this ami is of no use to me let me run this process another time asking jenkins can you start this process one more time because my jenk my ami is built with tomcat but that tomcat is not sufficient inside the tomcat my application should be running so 1 2 3 build now so the process i'm repeating it one more time yes started console the output package upload image is uploaded all the war package is uploaded already it's done console output it's done now packer packer is on its way Packer really takes time, guys. So participants, what is the expectation after this? The expectation after this is this: if this job gets completed by successfully building an AMI which has Tomcat, Ubuntu, 
application my app is yes, cool now it is downloading people now it has downloaded initially it was not now it is downloaded so i want that ami to be ready as soon as that ami is ready i am just one step away handing over that ami to terraform asking hey terraform look here you go terraform the ami as soon as it is built i will give you that ami to you you provision instances with that one step away i'm going to show you now with that terraform will start creating any number of instances if you want i'll create three instances and i'll show you just say wait for another one minute guys let that ami be ready so participants finally after 5 uh, minutes 35 seconds i have been successfully able to get that ami see what i'll do now i'll just get this ami id copied and i'm going to go ahead and tell to my terraform the terraform the much awaited code i think i have the local copy of that the much awaited code it's not there for this application is available file so github.com can you go ahead and get me my terraform code terraform hyphen beta terraform hyphen beta clone no this repo So all I'm trying to do is trying to go ahead and 
give Terraform. Can you get cloned here? What is this new drama now? It's empty. Which is empty, guys? Terraform beta. No problem. If it is not happening this way, very simple. The code name. I will clone it to my local desktop. It can you clone this URL? Already exist. Yes. Yes, it's already there. That's what. Now, if it is there, then what is that stopping us now to make this happen? File, add, Terraform hyphen beta. We'll go to tell to Terraform. The Terraform, when you're provisioning the instances, instead of using this plain AMI, please use this AMI as the reference. What is this AMI? Where did that AMI go? What is this AMI? Hacker AMI, which is open to OS. Into that open to OS, we have installed Tomcat 9 in it, and we have downloaded the artifact my app from S3 bucket. It's running. So this is something which I needed. It is now it has everything in it. So now updates, Terraform beta, git add these changes, git commit these changes. What is that new AMI or new hacker AMI ID is added. Git push these changes hyphen u origin upwards. Any of the branches, master. There's only one branch on this Terraform folder called master. Done. So participants, it's that everything is ready. Mr. Jenkins is the one that will go ahead and provision the job for us. Jenkins, I'm ready with my latest code sitting in github.com. You go ahead and ask Terraform to pull the code, build the code. For the purpose of one more time, let's double check whether Terraform is having the right access. Yeah, Terraform latest code is available. Master branch. Oh, lucky. Terraform apply. I kept destroy because after the practice is done, I just go ahead and destroy everything. So Terraform get started. So now participants, Terraform code is readily there. Everything is ready. Time for to release this into our AWS infrastructure. One, two, three, go. Build now. So build has taken, build has started using Terraform. Terraform has initialized, started to build the instances, creating a couple of instances. Cool. Now Terraform instances have been provisioned. There are 39 in E2. Let's go ahead and confirm those instances. Did it provision those instances into our account? Yeah, 39 and 4 E2. Cool. Let's double check and confirm whether things have gone the way we have expected. So pick your EC2 instance, public URL, 
public DNS, hit your port 8080, put a slash that will confirm whether Tomcat is running, full Tomcat is running, and I'm much awaited for the application, my app. One, two, three, go. There you go. Finally, participants, now applications started to resolve. Next, let's double check on the second instance. Public DNS. Port 8080, put a slash and the application, my app. Yes, it worked out. So participants, may I have everyone's confirmation here, participants? Hello, participants, can I have everyone's confirmation here? Participants are we good now? So let's go ahead and do the reverse engineering. The reverse engineer. What we have done, we have provision instances. Into these instances, what we have, we have Tomcat. We have our application running. How did we provision this? Using Terraform we provision. So how did Terraform did go ahead and get all these? Because we had taken the concept of an image. Image having everything in it. What is that image? Packer image. In that Packer image, what we had? We had the Ubuntu OS. We had the Tomcat. We had the Apache VAR package. Where did we get this Tomcat? Internet. App install Tomcat 9. Where did we get this VAR package from S3 we got? Where did we get this package from? AWS CLI has uploaded this package. Where did this package came from? Developer written the code, Jenkins pulled the code, built the code, and we got the artifact. So participants, are you able to now relate everyone? Hello? Participants, are you able to relate with the reverse engineering? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now quickly, I'm going to go ahead and share every line of code that I've used participants to you. So I have used packer template. So packer template is cool. Terraform template is available here. Source code is available here. And uh, anything else that I've used participants? I've gave you the documentation already. So Terraform code, packer code, packer code is something that you have to be very careful when you're using. Use the bucket reference of yours. Don't use mine. Don't use my bucket reference. Anyhow, I will bring that bucket down. Just this is only shown for the demonstration purpose. You have to be very careful with your bucket. Otherwise, it will go and download from my bucket. So be, be sure about your bucket reference. And here I'm sharing this entire code with you people. This is my complete CI CD for AWS code. So I'm going to put it into my AWS S3 bucket and I'm going to share with all of you. Give me a confirmation participants. Bucket. Load. Add the file. Load it. Cool. The file did get uploaded. I'm going to make it accessible for all of you. Here you go, participants. Click this link. The entire three repos will get downloaded for you. All those repos will get downloaded for you. Go ahead and please give me a confirmation, participants, if you're able to download it. Participants, are you able to go ahead and download it? Yes, Kumar. Okay. Now, since we have practiced the Terraform, what I normally do, I'll tell you, after the practice is done, Cancel, cancel, cancel. Anyhow, it will not provision anything because we have already, we didn't make any change. So what I normally do participants after the practice is done, I just go ahead and run this destroy command. 
So destroy in the sense it will destroy everything whatever I've created. So I don't need to waste my time to go and delete everything. I just go and say, hey, build now, build now to destroy. So it will destroy all those instances that it has created. So in that way, I don't need to do anything manually also. So it will go and destroy your instances. Yeah, it is destroying those instances, one and two instances. So I don't need to remember also. It will go and destroy. In that way, I'll save my time. Can you send those steps document also? See. Here it is. Done. So participants click this link. It has steps in it. You can use this for the steps. So participants things were provisioned by Terraform. Two instances, two out of two got terminated. So now, thank you very much, everyone. I'm signing off for today. Thank you, participants.